Got this far and realized that needs to flip upside down. Video sponsored by Squarespace. Hello! Hi. Hey guys. Welcome to the studio. So the first thing I had to do was I was helping my friend out make a, this big old rug. And so I was like, okay, I'll finish this real quick so that I can have space to finish the, the rug. And then JMO came over and they love him to death. And you're just grooving and dancing to the music. And he's like, well, why don't you just like flip it around instead of finishing it and then just put tack strips on the back side of this? And then he's like, oh, actually, is that going to work or are you going to mess up that rug if you tuft on the other side? So he's like, well, let's go to Lowe's. So we went to Lowe's and we picked up some more wood to just make a whole new frame. And bump, uh, bump, pretty, pretty quick, but not also quick, but it worked. So we just quickly screwed on. I think it was like eight feet by three feet or something, four feet, something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know feet. Screwed it on, stamped on, and by stamp I mean hammer on the tag strips, put on the monk's glass, stretched it out, and now just like the last video, we had to trace all the pattern from the, the chair, that's what it's called, from the sofa onto these little pieces of tissue paper. And with that, JMO kept on tracing them out for me, and I was going to try to figure out how to transfer it onto the monk's cloth, because I had forgotten how I did it last time. I was too lazy to watch my last video. I hope you guys aren't too lazy to watch the last video. Tell me how I did it the first time. I don't know. Because I had JMO, like, trace his finger on the backside, so I could follow it, because I, like, couldn't see through quite well enough. And then he's like, oh, let's just use a screen printing screen, and I'll press it up, and then you can trace that way, and it was worked way better. But it wasn't as intimate as the finger following. Oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, Jamal kept on tracing those out while I started tufting. And yeah, just tufted away. This was like the longest tufting project I've probably ever done. By far. It took me so, so, so long. But it was all like fairly simple. Just like little squares. So it's just monotonous. But by the end, I feel like I was getting pretty quick. Ooh. Cool. Oh, I almost hit the camera with that one. I used my camera wall mount to like string up the yarn so that it had a place to come down, which feeds right into the gun pretty seamlessly. And that was really nice. And just boom, bang, boom. Got all the black in there, then all the white. Bum, pew, pow. Then we just gotta use some rug glue. Get on there, let it dry. With it dry, we can cut it out. But first, Drake came by with a sample of the jackets. New jacket sample made. It's looking good. Those are gonna come out pretty soon. Kind of stoked on them. The tent video, the tent jacket video, tent jacket video. Anyways, back to this. Sar, uh, I came by the next day. Took it down, flipped it upside down because we still have three more pieces that we need to tuft. Cut off that bottom side, and once JMO came by, traced it back onto the monk's cloth using the screen print to push the 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 screen, not the screen print, but the screen to press up against the cloth. Hurried and tuffed it away, and got tired and went to bed, and came back 
And I think literally like, I just had one square left. Oh, I had to go get more yarn. That's what happened. Uh, something, I don't know, something happened. But got that last square done. And with that, it's the last I'm gonna have to tuft for this chair rug. And with it all done, time to just glue it, let it dry, cut it out, and clean up the studio a little bit. Now to get all the rugs shaven down. So, just did a first layer to kind of get it all evened out. And vacuum and did that up. And with the vacuum up, I'm like, let's see how it looks if I like clean up the edges. Hopefully it doesn't look too good because having to clean up the edges on all of these would take an entire lifetime. But when I did it, I'm like, oh, that looks pretty good. I might as well just like try it out on one of them. If I do on one of them, I can just do on one and not have to do on all of them. Yeah, that's, that's how this works. And so every single edge just shaved it down to clean it up and make it look like little squares and compared to that one it just looks so much better Ugh. and also it gives it like this like quilted look so i'm like all right here goes nothing let's let's do it to all the pieces Woo -wee. and so i think it took me like seven hours, yeah, for hours. but by the end of it I got pretty good at shaving rugs, <laughs> and, or I guess like shaving squares into rugs. I wonder the next rug I make, maybe I'll just do a wild shave job, because I'm getting so good, but I also need to get a new um, buzzer, a new top for that shaver, because it like got so worn down by the end of this, but it was pretty fun to do. Um, no, yeah, it was fun, it was just a lot. I'm pretty satisfying and with it all done time to get it onto the chair I started with the pillow I just like sewed it into place which was a pain and I did kind of a half-assed job but I just wanted to get it well enough so I could stick the pillow in and see how it looks and ooh, I'm gonna have to come back and fix that with some glue basically the whole chair is being held together with like staples and glue Super, not super glue, hot glue. There's nothing quite like night in with the one you love, drinking some tea, watching a movie next to a hot fire. I love them so, so much. I've been with them for ooh, probably like 10 years now, and they just get me. They're great listeners, and they know my needs even before I know them, and are quick to get them solved. They've helped me so much with my business, running it, manage it, do all the, the website, and it just feels selfish to me to keep them all to myself. So I want you to have them. I want you to use them, get all your needs fulfilled, and everything to sell anything. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I love them. I've been with them forever. They are great listeners, and they do know my, know my needs. They do know my needs, and they're there for me 24-7. Spending a night in with them, I can grow my business online. Everything I need to sell anything. Create a website, e-commerce made easy, I can mark my business. I love how many templates they have and because of the templates, it makes it so I can easily get something up and it'll look professional and it will be on brand because it's fully customizable. It's like drag and drop easy. Sell anything online, whether it's physical, digital or service, and then you can market it with email campaigns, social posts, all the things. And you can actually go to the link in my description www.squarespace.com backslash mood to start your free trial today no credit card required and don't forget coupon code schmood when you do decide to get like a website or domain so off camera i finished the cushion not the pillow the cushion and now just to get all of the rest of the rug pieces onto this chair and like i said just use some hot glue pushed it onto place where it should go and then i stapled it in cleaned up the edge and then super clean up the edge, I'd come back and use some hot glue and put some like fabric on there. By fabric, I mean yarn and cut it. Ooh, it took a long time, but it was fun. So I did that to all the, all the squares, like all the sides of the rugs, glued it down, stapled it where I could, did it to this right side, to the left side, to the back. And let's add that cushion on the pillow and it's looking pretty good. Just gotta do the sides, 
back piece on the other side. And then what happened next? Oh, so right there on the seam, there was like a little space. And so Jam and I went through it and just glued little pieces of yarn onto it and then shaved it down to kind of hide that seam. And this was, looked really nice, but you'll see later that this sucked because we ended up having to rip off this whole entire panel and do it all over again. Fun, 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 fun. I love when that happens. Last thing, I just wanted to sand down those legs and make it a more natural looking color. Natural. Natural. Did that to all four of them. And now just to set up this backdrop so we can get final shots. Nico helped me put it on. And that's when I realized that. Got this far and realized that needs to flip upside down. Cool, 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 cool. So we're gonna have to rip that off and redo everything we just did. So Jam and I took about, probably like another hour, so not too bad. We just ripped it off, took it off, and redid the seams, sewed it down, put it back on, and that's probably really loud. Cleaned it up, made it so all the squares kind of lined up the best they could, and there we go. We got our checkerboard rug chair. I really love how like the quilted effect looked. And it's actually super comfy to sit on. I might take the pillow off on the back so it's like super deep. But yeah. I don't even I wish I would have kept track of how many hours this took. This is a long project, but it's really cute. Now I'll just sit here forever. This this is where I live now. This this is my home. You you, you can send mail to this address. Checkered chair at checkeredchair.com. All right, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, 